Good morning, everybody, on this Saturday, January 19th. It's not morning, it's afternoon. Morning? It's the 19th, right? Uh, I think it's the 19th. Yeah. Yeah. Good afternoon. It's actually 3 o'clock. Yeah. I slept until 10.30. Nice. So I'll probably never sleep tonight, but I did sleep until 10.30. And then I got up and I watched YouTube for an hour. And then I helped John with uh, something he was working on. He was working on an application for a job. So he wrote something and then I wordsmithed it. And he's the English major, but. Different purposes. Different purposes. So I helped wordsmith his, his words, if that makes sense. Um, and then uh, we, were, we spent a couple hours working on that. Yeah, and I showered, which is we, good. We have a we have opposing philosophies when it comes to it. Yeah, and our mailman's putting our mail in our mailbox right now, so. So we're gonna stare at him and make him feel uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Nick, you want to go get that? Or you want to get that? Well, I'll let him get it. Anyway. Say thank you. Did he say thank you? I think so. Yeah, he shook his head. Anyway, we're going to get some food now. I don't know what food we're going to get, but we're going to get some food now. We are heading out to get some Thank food. Um, I was just going to eat at home, but I was like, no, we'll 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 go out. It's 3 o'clock. Neil doesn't come for work. We, for another two hours, right? Yeah, we, we expected snow. And Yeah, where's the snow? Where that snow at? What are uh, those? It's a plain road. They changed it to 4 to 8 inches, I think. Yesterday, it was still 6 to 9 Today it's this morning. It was four to eight, and then it was supposed to be followed by twelve hours of rain, which was and it, very cold. Like the temperature was supposed to drop into the teens, so they were calling more for ice now instead of more snow, which is what we were originally supposed to get. We were originally supposed to get more snow and than ice, and now we're supposed to get more ice than snow. So um, it's possible that we won't get out of our house for another twelve uh, or twenty-four hours once we uh, get back from eating something. But. <laughs> I'm very hungry, so I said let's go to a buffet, but we haven't decided. There's not very many buffets in this area, so we're trying to decide on um, what buffet to go to. And we got a box in the mail. I don't know what it is. Who is it to dad or to me? Jessica. It's to me. Ooh, what did I get in the mail? I don't even remember ordering anything. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. It's what my is it? CPAP machine. It's my CPAP supplies. I'll put it in the bag. So, I don't even have to look. That's the only thing I've ordered recently was my CPAP supplies. So. This is a uh, uh, this is document for Neil. I don't know what that is. Probably some sort of wacky offer. Offer. We get tons of credit card offers. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, we're going to figure out where we're going to go to eat, and we're going to go eat. But I wanted to say hello, even though it's already 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Did you just cheese for the camera? Nope. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe and then we're going to come home and kind of just keep ourselves inside. I think um, I think I'm gonna edit Monday's mukbang and maybe Tuesday's taste test. But that's gonna be my priority for tonight is getting getting those two videos edited because I already have my Epic Beauty Fell videos for the week edited. Except for unboxings. What are you doing? What? <laughs> except for any unboxings. Now I will say this my Sephora play bag uh, on the eleventh, which was eight days ago it said that UPS information was sent, shipping information was sent to UPS. It hasn't shipped yet. I don't know where it is, I don't know what happened to it, but it hasn't shipped yet. It's just sitting in a warehouse somewhere, I guess, waiting for something. Um, Allure shipped, I'm not supposed to get that until later this week. Lola has shipped, I'm not supposed to get that until later this week. And my Lucky Bag shipped, which I'm not supposed to get until Thursday. I'm really hoping it comes early because I really want my Lucky Bag. That's pretty much the only one I'm actually looking forward to, so. There's that. Anyway, I think we're going to go get something to eat, and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Well, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but I got Monday's mukbang done and yesterday's vlog done. So I got at least two things done. And I'm going to try really hard not to switch hands as much because I noticed that the sound gets all like every time I switch hands. The problem is that I'm still having issues with my um, pop sockets. In fact, the second pop socket I bought, the blue one that I showed you guys, that one won't even stay on. Like, it's on right now, but if I try to pull it open, it just falls right off. I've actually had it literally just holding the phone and fall off. I had it sitting on my table upstairs, picked up my phone, it fell off. 
So that one sticks even less to my phone than the other one did. So I'm considering super glue. <laughs> What's funny is, is the other one that was falling off all the time now never falls off. It, it, it doesn't fall off. So I have actually one at the top of the phone and one at the bottom of the phone on the back. So like there's not one in the center of the phone, which makes it a little bit more difficult to hold. But there's one at the bottom, one at the top so that I can at least use it as like a kickstand to hold the phone up if I'm like watching a video or whatever. Um, it, that makes it kind of nice. But um. Yeah, the blue one just falls off. The fake leather one hasn't fallen off since I put it on the bottom of the phone. But I also don't open it up very often either. So maybe that has something to do with it. Um, anyway, I don't, like I said, I might just have to use super glue and glue it on. Um, I know the whole purpose of a pop socket is that you can like remove it and replace it and put it on something else and switch them out and make it you know yours but i don't need to change my pop socket i have no desire to change my pop socket i literally just want it to function that's all i want i just want it to function uh and function as it's supposed to function not function and like fall off so there's that anyway it is what it's like 10 30. It's like 10.30 and um, I, like I said, I got two videos edited. Um, I'm uploading Monday's Epic Beauty Fail and I'm uploading Monday Mukbang right now. Uh, the Yesterday's vlog is processing right now, so I probably won't even upload it until Sunday. So you're probably seeing it on Sunday. Um, the snowstorm was a bust. Like we ended up getting a what, about an inch? There's probably about two inches out there right now. Yeah, about two inches they were calling earlier in the week for like nine to twelve and now we ended up getting like two inches of snow now it's still supposed to get icy because it is supposed to get very very cold and it's supposed to continue raining um neil's not here which makes me a little bit uncomfortable he's actually over at a friend's house right now um so yeah i'm a little bit uncomfortable with him not being here right now plus he has to work at seven o'clock tomorrow morning which again doesn't make me feel very very happy because yeah he's gonna be driving at seven o'clock in the morning but he's his friend's house is about a mile that way which is west and he works a mile that way which is east so he doesn't actually have very far to drive to get home from his friend's house or to get to work but even you know 15 feet can be hazardous sorry my phone is slipping uh even 15 feet can be hazardous if there's ice on the road um it's also what the 19th and we found out that neil's car needs new registration by the end of the month or not registration i'm sorry we already registered the car it needs an inspection by the end of the month I'm glad I looked. John thought it might have been March. Um, and I looked on the windshield when we came in today because Neil met us for dinner. Um, and because we actually, and we started heading towards one place and then it started snowing. So we turned around and headed home. And we ended up getting to a restaurant about five minutes till four. And Neil texted us at 4.15 and was like, where are you guys? So he actually met us at the restaurant to eat. Um, but we all came home together and I looked at his windshield before we came in and I'm like, oh, it expires at the end of this month. That's not good. So we're going to try to get him his car in for inspection on Friday um, because he works Friday night, but he works Monday and Wednesday during the day and he, work, he goes to school Tuesday and Thursday. So, um, and we did get the the gas cover, right? The gas tank cover today. Unfortunately, he was driving to work this morning and his check engine light came on. So we think it's because it, he drove without a gas tank for two days because we forgot to get it yesterday. So we think it's because he drove without a gas tank for two days. Um, he hasn't refilled the gas tank. He said he had about a quarter tank left. So my assumption is he's gonna get gas tomorrow and he'll probably get gas one more time because of going back and forth to school. School's about a half an hour away for him. Um, going back and forth to school on Tuesday and Thursday and work and everything, I'm assuming he's probably gonna need to get gas a second time this week. 
And then if we take it into the mechanic on Friday and he does the inspection, um, hopefully the check engine light will be off by then. And if it's not, maybe he can do like a mechanical reset or something of it um, to, to clear the code because I, I really think it's just because it didn't have a gas cover, gas tank cover for two days, but it has one now. Uh, a certified Toyota one. John actually went to the Toyota dealership and, and uh, paid the extra money for the Toyota, Toyota one to make sure we have the right one, so. Anyway, day was pretty boring, like I said. Didn't wake up until 10.30, helped John with a job application, which he didn't finish, right? Yeah, oh, you didn't submit it? So he submitted his job application for this job. Um, keep your fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> Something you're excited about, right? Yeah. He's excited about it. Except that it takes his commute from like 25 minutes to 45 minutes. So there's that. And like doubles his commute. I'm heartbroken. I need a new car. I don't know if you. I, I don't think you guys heard him because the microphone on this with this case on is not very good. He's he coughed and said, "I might need a new car." We talked about getting him like a small commuter car, um, like a Yaris. Apparently, they don't sell Yaris's anymore. I love my Yaris. I don't know why they don't sell it, but apparently, they uh, got rid of the Yaris and now just have like hatchback. Corollas and just regular Corollas as their smallest car, but I loved my Yaris. I still love my Yaris, even though Neil drives it. I still love my Yaris. Um, but yeah, we we were talking today that if he get this gets this job, maybe we'll get him like a tiny commuter car um, that he can drive back and forth. Get a beater. I don't know that it would be defined as a beater if it's a brand new car, even if it's a used car from a couple years old. He was looking at the used cars in the in the dealership, um, and he saw there were a couple cars in there that were like two or three years, three years. I guess it's three years. You said they were sixteens, right? Yeah. So three years old. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. A lot of it, and it, even if he would get the job, it wouldn't be until next school year. Like it actually starts in August. They're just recruiting now for it. Um, so he would finish out this school year at his current position and then he would uh, do summer school with his current school district and then he would end up going to start with the new job um, which is at an intermediate unit this is a different job than he applied for before um, but this would be at the intermediate unit starting in August so for next school year but it's not in our intermediate unit it's not even in the one next to us it's the one two away <laughs> I'm yeah anyway i've been blabbering for way too long about nothing because we really didn't do much today um like i said after we went to eat we came home and i watched youtube i edited videos i responded to a couple of comments not all of them i should have responded to more on epic beauty fail and i still haven't responded to you guys yet i'm a bad 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 vlogger Anyway, tomorrow, uh, well, tonight, Nicholas is running a bit of a fever, so we gave him some NyQuil. I hope that he gets a good night's sleep and the NyQuil kicks in and it makes him feel better. Um, he is almost 12 years old. It's the, the label was like 12 and up, right? He is less than six months from being 12, but he is 130 pounds. Um, and he's five foot two ish five foot one five foot two so even though he's 12 or he's 11 and almost 12 he's uh four months from so he's 11 and three quarters two yeah 11 and three quarters um so he's not quite 12 years old yet he is the size of a a full-grown adult at least some full-grown adults um I, I assume he'll continue to grow taller since he's only 12 um but yeah he uh we, we gave him NyQuil and um, put him to bed. But he had a runny nose all night um, and he was complaining that his head hurt and John took his temperature and he, to, he did have a temperature. Nick is one of the weirdest kids I've ever come across when it comes to, to like illness. Most people, most kids and adults can feel it coming and will like get sick over maybe a day or two. Nicholas for his entire life 
has been one of those people where he's healthy and then like two seconds later he's sick and he's always been like that like i can't remember a time where he got sick that he didn't do that that literally he went from being healthy to being sick within like less than an hour it was it, it's so weird the way his body works that way um because he can be totally like i said totally healthy and then like an hour later he's like totally knocked out sick so he's running a little bit of a fever um hoping he's feeling better by tomorrow and uh we're supposed to take my mother-in-law out to lunch we're gonna go to cracker barrel uh, take her out to lunch tomorrow um because my father-in-law is uh at, they at their church he's on their board of directors council church council some whatever it is i don't know what their church calls it um but he's on like their church council kind of a thing board of directors something like that and that group went to a retreat this weekend so he's not getting home until maybe tomorrow night either tomorrow night or monday i don't know he, which he could come home early because of the snow i don't know well i don't know he's gonna come home tomorrow or monday i don't know because monday is martin luther king day so um they might actually be go he might not come back till monday i'm not sure but we're gonna take her out to lunch because she always makes us lunch. So we're gonna we call, uh, John called her up and said, "Hey, you want to go to lunch tomorrow?" And she's like, "Yeah, sure." So we're gonna take her out to lunch tomorrow. Um, Neil won't be with us because he works until two, but nonetheless, um, we're gonna take her out to lunch tomorrow. So hopefully, Nick is feeling better by tomorrow. Anyway, I've been rambling about nothing. I uh, am going to take my computer upstairs because it is still processing and I've got videos uploading and all that jazz. Um, so I'm going to take it upstairs and then I'm going to, well, I'm probably going to do my nighttime routine first because if my video gets done processing, I'm going to start it uploading before I go to bed. It is two thirds of the way done. It says that there is 11 minutes left on the processing of it. So um, I'm going to do my nighttime routine and then I will hopefully get that uploading and it will be up by Sunday morning, early, early Sunday morning. All right. Today I am thankful that I slept in. It was really, really nice to sleep in. Although I don't feel fantastic. Um, I'm like always tired, but anyway, I'm just really happy I slept in. I ended up sleeping. It was about 10 and a half hours because I, I, I went to sleep after midnight. I actually didn't turn my phone off until after midnight last night. Um, and then my alarm got up, went off at six so we could get Nick up or Neil up for work, but I went back to bed. Neil, uh, John got up, but Neil had to go to work. So John got up and got him up and, um, I went back to bed. So I ended up sleeping about 10 and a half hours. So today I am super thankful that I got to sleep for 10 and a half hours. That may sound really bad, but it was nice to sleep. So anyway. I hope today was better than yesterday, and I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. I hope you all are having a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.